Congratulations, really nice win against a, a very good, very well coached green team. Uh, you guys led start to finish, but it wasn't easy to really put that away. What, what, uh, what did you see out there today? Oh, uh, they play so hard. Um, we lost to them in the regionals in 2019, and they were very physical, did a great job on the boards. Um, they do all the little things right, and they execute. And some really, really good players. Um, we knew that when we got up every time, 18, 17, I said, it's not over, it's not over. We still got to play every single possession. Um, having Ryan Kalo back, you guys understand this. I mean, first game back was last Saturday, and for him to come in and get 20 some. I think he's one of the best free throw shooters. He missed a couple, but he shot the ball really, really well tonight. And to have him to come um, on the court, and then that gives us extra depth, that was a great surprise. And, and Matthew and Ian, of course, play so well off each other. Matthew got, got things going. And then till, till Ian can go, and get going, then Ian pick it up and get it up and the You're right. Um, no, sure. Having that double threat, absolutely huge. Um, you know, they're both scholarship players. They've been here before. Um, they started since their sophomore year, every single game. So, it, again, it's a luxury to have them on the floor. The nice thing is we'll be able to come and watch Dover and Jackson tomorrow, um, see what they do, and have one more day of prep. You know, we'll prep for both of those tomorrow. We'll meet tonight and uh, for all the marbles to go to Kent State on Saturday. One thing maybe to, to address, Coach, is uh, they were able to get to the rim, even in the half court. I guess you guys, they got a couple of back doors and, and some uh, help kind of slide open. And, just make that and they execute so well and they're strong. And the one thing I want to say, we knew they were going to get to the rim sometimes, but we didn't want to give them the rebounds. And I think that was a part that was disappointing that we gave up so many offensive boards. But uh, I, I thought the pace of the game, um, starting in the second quarter. I think we had 26 in the second, uh, 24 in the third, and that's what we talked about at the games in the 70s. Um, I thought it really felt really good. It's said 80s. I felt great. The 90s would have been like a luxury. But the pace of the game, I think, was the difference in the game starting in the second quarter. Coach, I mean, you guys were missing a key guy in Kobe. I mean, talk about, I noticed you touched, I mean, you went to Tony a little bit. He saw the floor a little bit more. Talk to me. What did you see from him tonight that you liked? I understand he might have to see the floor a little bit more in the future, possibly. Tony's six seven. He's a sophomore. He shoots it really well. Um, he rebounds really, really well. Kobe, we could, would have put back in if we needed him. Said his ankle, he could go. So hopefully he's healthy. But Tony gives us that added size, and he can shoot the basketball. Um, Ryan Kalo is probably six four, six five point guard. He's able to see over people. So we're pretty big. Um, and that's the nice part about this. I mean, Coach, you guys have a team that is structured where so many different guys can take over moments at different times. We saw Fidel get off early. Kalo got, took over in the second quarter. I mean, Ian started to go in the third. Just talk to me about that dynamic and how important that was tonight and how important it will be in the future. I think it's really tough to defend and to get a plan because exactly what you said. And Brian Kalo coming in, giving us 20-some points. Matt, Ian, Tanner too didn't shoot the ball well, but I think he's a really, really good shooter. So it's nice to have everybody on the floor that's a threat to shoot and that can attack the rim. So um, hopefully we could, you know, you need to shoot well, but our press and the pace has to be at ours on Saturday. I mean, Coach, watching you guys, it's so easy to touch on that high tempo, high pace you guys bring to the game, but the game was in the half court a lot. And offensively, how would you feel you guys fared in the half court? How was the execution in the half court? Did you like what you saw out there? No. Well, we're not used to it. You know, you want to be really good, but um, I thought we executed. We held Taylor and Rawlison are really, really good. I thought we really held Rawlison in check for most of the game. I think he had a good fourth quarter. But I think we're good enough in the half court if we had to, you know, we could play it to win the game. So we'll see. And that's why we want to be – in the Brunswick game, we just about went straight man-to-man -man because they're so, you know, explosive. Um, and you've got to be ready to play, you know, if Jackson has five shooters and five scores, it's tough to – double and, and leave people wide open. So to answer your question, I hope we are really, really solid in the half court. I mean, Coach, anything you want to say prior that you get out of here? 
you know, I told our, our players, this is 17 straight years we've been in this game. Um, this will be the 15th we've been in the district finals. And I think that's a tribute to our program and to the kids we have right now. But you got to win on Saturday. Right here from Coach. I mean, good luck Saturday. Congrats. Congrats on the views done tonight. Six in the second, uh, 24 in the third. And that's what we talked about. If the game's in the 70s, um, I thought it really felt really good. It said 80s. I felt great. The 90s would have been like a luxury. But the pace of the game, I think, was the difference in the game starting the second quarter. Coach, I mean, you guys are missing a key guy in Kobe. I mean, talk about – I know that you touched – I mean, you went to Tony a little bit. He saw the floor a little bit more. Talk to me, what did you see from him tonight that you liked? I understand he might have to see the floor a little bit more in the future, possibly. Tony's 6'7". He's a sophomore. He shoots it really well. Um, he rebounds really, really well. Kobe, we could, would have put back in if we needed him. Said to his ankle he could go. So hopefully he's healthy. But Tony gives us that added size, and he can shoot the basketball. Um, Ryan Caitlin is probably six four, six five point guard. He's able to see over people. So we're pretty big, um, and that's the nice part about this. I mean, Coach, you guys have a team that is structured where so many different guys can take over moments at different times. We saw Fidel get off early. Kalo got, took over in the second quarter. I mean, Ian started to go in the third. Just talk to me about that dynamic and how important that was tonight and how important it will be in the future. I think it's really tough to defend and to get a plan because exactly what you said. And Brian Kalo coming in, giving us 20-some points. Matt, Ian, Tanner too didn't shoot the ball well, but I think he's a really, really good shooter. So it's nice to have everybody on the floor that's a threat to shoot and that can attack the rim. So um, hopefully we could, you know, you need to shoot well, but our press and the pace has to be at ours on Saturday. I mean, Coach, watching you guys, it's so easy to touch on that high tempo, high pace you guys bring to the game. But the game was in the half court a lot. And offensively, how would you feel you guys fared in the half court? How was the execution in the half court? Did you like what you saw out there? Well, we're not used to it. You know, you want to be really good. But um, I thought we executed. We held Taylor and Rawlison are really, really good. I thought we really held Rawlison in check for most of the game. I think he had a good fourth quarter. But I think we're good enough in the half court if we had to, you know, we could play it to win the game. So we'll see. And that's why we want to be – in the Brunswick game, we just about went straight man-to-man -man because they're so, you know, explosive. Um, and you've got to be ready to play, you know, if Jackson has five shooters and five scores, it's tough to – double and, and leave people wide open. So, to answer your question, I hope we are really, really solid in the half court. I mean, Coach, anything you want to say for that you get out of here? You know, I told our, our players, this is 17 straight years we've been in this game. Um, this will be the 15th we've been in the district finals. And I think that's a tribute to our program and to the kids we have right now. But you got to win on Saturday. Saturday. Right here from Coach, I mean, good luck Saturday. Congrats, Congrats on the views done tonight.